I love that melody. It's very lilting. It's very uplifting. You all voted for this. So here we go. Terraria Calamity music reaction. Let's begin. Here is The Tale of a Cruel World, aka the title theme. Let's begin. Well, wow, right off the bat, aside from giving me very Minecraft vibes, it's already starting with very smart chord progressions. Wow, this is all very lush sounding. The piano is doing very interesting chord progressions. The string beds, it's adding to the lushness, the color. It's giving a feeling of floatiness. You're like floating in the sky or you're floating in the water. The inserts of those brass instruments or those brass patches are giving it semblances of brightness, like bright spots, some glimmering areas. It's like watching the sea under moonlight or under sunlight whenever the water constantly changing shape and then there's this constant glimmering that happens. It's like these brass instruments are musically representing that. Wow, okay, this new section right here, this very pianistic section, it's reminding me a lot of, of course, Chopin with a little bit of Yasunori Mitsuda in his work in Xenogears or Chrono Cross. These are my favorite kinds of chords. Yeah, that's that passage. Dun, da, 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 da. That is very Chopin prelude in E minor. Yes, that's a very classical cadence. I love it. The composer is staying within the minor key, which is why it's giving you this feeling of something very melancholic, but also very serene. So it's like a little bit bittersweet. The feeling of something beautiful, but also something sad. This is a great example of it. Now it's no longer bittersweet because of the arpeggio da -da 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 of the left hand that's usually played in the left hand. It now feels very uplifting and a little angelic, to be honest, especially when the brass section returns. <laughs>
Yeah, it's a very beautiful contrast of melancholy and uplifting. And the strings, oh my God, the strings, the swelling strings, it's just so much ear candy. It's very soothing to the ears and it's very well written. Yeah, very beautiful piece of music. So the overall feeling I'm getting from this piece, it's very inviting, it's very welcoming, it's inviting you to play the game, to experience this relaxing vibe, very chill, very somber mood, where this music definitely helps set that mood. By the way, if you want me to react to more Terraria Calamity music, let me know in the comments or you can suggest another video game soundtrack for me to check out. Here's another song that you've all been asking me to react to called Guardian of the Former Seas. Sounds epic. Okay, I'm gonna take a guess. Guardian of the Former Seas, theme of the Desert Scourge, refers to this theme being a boss fight. And if it is a boss fight, it is one of the more positive sounding boss battle themes that I've heard, simply because it stays within the major scale key, giving it a more peppy, happy sounding, positive vibe. And I'm, I'm all for it. It's like it's encouraging you to do your best, something like that.
that sounded very anime, a very high energy anime opening theme. As soon as that electric guitar solo came in, when it started, it was using these very subdued sounding synths along with a piano accompaniment, thus making it a bit more relaxed sounding, even if it's a bit more upbeat. And then that guitar came in. Wow, anime vibes. Let's go. Yeah, these mellow sounding synth strings is, is what I'm talking about. The subdued type of harmony. That's why it sounds relaxing instead of ear piercing. Yes, I love the consecutive use of suspended chords with that floating guitar solo. Oh my god, yes, it gives it still a very positive vibe, but it's like you're in a feeling of suspense. A little bit of suspense introduced to keep you guessing. What's next? What's next? Wow, did you hear that keyboard solo? Like a jazz fusion style solo. <laughs> wow, it works so well. It's very flashy, very virtuoso sounding, and it's beautiful. It complements the guitar solo well. The guitar solo was doing more a bit of a long tones, suspended notes, extended notes. <laughs> I'm a total nerd for music production. Aside from the compositional musical aspect, I'm also a total nerd when it comes to the production aspect, the mixing, the mastering, the sound editing, the sound mixing. Wow, this is a very, very clean mix. I love it. Yeah, especially the drums. I don't know if that is live drums or synth drums. Oh man, the way it is mixed in conjunction with the uh, overdrive rhythm guitars, it's so clean. It, it's addicting to listen to. The Desert Scourge is a pre-hard mode boss. It is intended to be one of the first bosses fought by the player and is considered to be one of the weakest of all the bosses added by the Calamity mode. Oh, okay. If it's meant to be the easiest boss, then it kind of makes sense for the boss music to be a little bit more on the happy-go-lucky side of things since it's like, oh yeah, this is chill. This is still a, an easy boss. So take it easy. Yeah, here's some positive music for you. <laughs>
here's Infestation, a.k.a. Theme of Crabulon, another highly requested one. Although the name Crabulon actually reminds me of that robot from Futurama, Calculon. <laughs> For some reason. No connection at all. Anyway. Wow, this goes hard. <laughs> Castanets to represent the crab pincer sound? <laughs> Genius. Kind of like crab rave, right? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna do this for the first time on YouTube. Well, second time technically. But you're about to see something that is only tradition on my Twitch channel. By the way, follow me on Twitch if you want to watch me live streaming. Sometimes I play music, sometimes I play with... Crab Claws. I love that melody. It's very lilting. It's very uplifting. It definitely adds to the energy of the beat and the chords. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, it's giving me a lot of 90s Eurobeat vibes like that song Children from Robert Miles, I think. Yeah, that suspended chord sounds so good. Wow, okay. The section before that comedic sounding synth right there. Sudden modulation and sudden key change going up. That sounded so genius. Woo! Oh, wow. That ultra fast energetic transition. Oh my God. Very fun and frenetic. Here comes the crab claws again. The way this was mixed with all those wide sounding reverbs, the tasteful delays, makes it sound like it is in a huge underwater cavern. It's basically a rave under the sea, a crab rave under the sea. <laughs> you know what other type of musical genre uses this kind of castanet patterns, very frenetic castanet patterns? Flamenco, Spanish guitar flamenco music. It's amazing to hear it here in an EDM style of music, which is rare for me. So yeah, that's a very genius way of portraying the characteristics of the crab claw dance.
I love how it is both uplifting, very energetic, but also at the same time because of that very heavy reverb on the piano and the other synth pads that are more on the subdued side. It's both energetic and relaxing. Yeah, wow, that is such a super fun song. Wow, <laughs> I love it. That's a wrap for this video. Here's some more of my content for you to enjoy. Click here.